So a couple of books that you might want to look at, this is one of them. Uh, Light and Laser Therapy Clinical Procedures 6th Edition uh, by Dr. Tertian. Uh, he's a chiropractor. Um, there's his name there at the, on the book. And what you'll find in here is just about uh, just about every type of problem. Uh, tension, headache, uh, you know, there's all the protocols. So this is what you can program into that A through Z, uh, the things you're going to treat. And most likely you're going to find that you treat four or five different things all the time. Uh, and that's about all that I use my, my laser for. I don't treat uh, lots of different things, but occasionally something may come up. And, uh, you know, it talks about uh, your total output, how many uh, joules of treatment. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The, the joules of treatment that he lists here, like, for example, 300 to 600 joules. Uh, I rarely uh, treat somebody that, that for that short period of time. And the reason is, is that we're typically treating uh, musculoskeletal problems. And with musculoskeletal problems, you're going to want to use, a, I'll tell you what I do, a minimum of the 30 watt intensity at full uh, five minutes, usually more like six or seven per body region. Now that's going to give you between six and 8,000 joules of treatment. But if you're gonna to try to treat a chronic hip problem or chronic shoulder problem at five or 600 joules, you're not gonna see any effect. You need six to 8,000 joules per body region that you're treating. So that comes out to a 30 watts. Most of your treatment times are gonna use, most of your treatment protocols are gonna use 30 watts of power. And you're gonna be treating that particular area for five to eight minutes. If it's really chronic, about eight minutes. Now I would start at five minutes, next treatment do six, next treatment do seven, uh, six, seven, and eight. Build your time up. Typically I'll treat somebody with like a chronic problem on a shoulder. I'll treat them for 10 to 12 times over uh, four or five weeks with the laser, about twice a week. All right, so that book's good. Uh, there's also uh, this book. There, uh, this, this one's low-level uh, laser therapy for physical therapists. Now, a lot of the books that you're going to find aren't dealing with class four lasers. Uh, so treatment times can be much less, and you can deliver much more power in a shorter period of time. So uh, that's a good one as far as protocols and, and, and you know, the, the theory and the, uh, the physics behind it. And this book, uh, also very good, uh, low-level light therapy and biomodulation. And you can get all of these on uh, Amazon, and I, I highly suggest you do and read through them because there's just too much in there that to bring you up to speed if you really uh, don't know about uh, laser. But by, by watching or reading those you'll in, in this video, you should be able to start using your laser right away. You don't really absolutely have to have the background in those books, but, but uh, I highly recommend it so that you know what you're doing. Okay, so uh, welcome to the uh, how to use your laser video. <clears throat> what I just want to do is take a few moments to show you how to use the laser. It's really not a complicated, uh, a complicated machine. Uh, also, you'll find uh, uh, lots of protocols and uh, uh, information on the web, and uh, uh, there's also some pretty good books that, uh, that talk about the laser. Now, one of the things you'll find in your uh, uh, box that, come with, that comes with the laser is this little piece of plastic that kind of looks like an odd keychain that you might write something on here. Don't write anything on it. This is your laser test strip, all right? So I'll, I'll show you what that does, but let's fire up the laser first. So we put the key in, and there's this red button here on the top, <clears throat> and many people will call and say, hey, my laser won't start. What's wrong with it? It's defective. Because it's the emergency shutoff, and they have this button depressed. And if you look at the button, you'll see red arrows on top of that. So if you ever have an issue and you want to shut the laser off immediately, this is the button to push. And to be able to use it again, you just turn the button and it pops up. So down, kill switch, twist direction, and it pops back up. Don't turn it, just twist it gently and it will pop back up. So that's your emergency switch. 
And uh, then what you want to do is turn it on and you should get uh, your, your screen comes on that says, please wait, uh, pick your language. And there's your physiotherapy button. Now if we go back one step, you'll notice that you have a gear right here. And uh, that gear is so that you can make a few setting choices. Uh, one is time. So that's to set your date. If you want to set the date and, and the actual hours, minutes, and times. All right, so uh, hours, minutes, and seconds, excuse me. So let's go back. And uh, the red light is the intensity or brightness of your guide light, the light that just shows you where you're shining the laser. All right, so that, uh, that's at maximum of 30. If you want it less intense, I leave mine at 30. All right, so click OK, and we go back. If you need, click OK. All right, so we'll click English and choose physiotherapy. It's the only option. Now, these buttons, A through Z, on this model laser, uh, the newer laser that we're going to be coming out with uh, sometime this year, will have a body diagram to choose regions. But this one is so that you can put presets. If you want to put settings in here for different body areas, then you can do that by storing them under A through Z. You cannot type the name, but you have basically A to Z. And so you pretty much have to make a sheet that you know, lays underneath here that says A is for uh, you know, a, a carpal tunnel, B is for uh, back pain, C is for you know, chest, whatever it is that you're going to put together. Uh, those are what those letters for. So when we select the letter, whatever's saved in there right now will come up. So if you want to make a change, let's say we want to make the treatment time change here, six minutes, five being the minimum treatment time that the timer will, will sh automatically shut off for. Um, so you can, can change that. You can change it to pulse mode instead of continuous wave pulse mode. And whatever energy, this is set on 30 watts, if you go to pulse, then you're going to be able to change the, uh, the time and duration of those pulses. So once you've uh, made your changes, then you click the or touch the little disc icon. It's actually a 3.5 disc that they don't exist anymore, but that's the icon that, they, that they've chosen. So click that, and that saves it, and now you're ready to use the laser. And the next time you push A, that same protocol will be saved and will open up. So... Uh, when you're ready to start using the laser, and I'm going to demonstrate what this does with this protocol. So this is set on 30. Now, as soon as you touch that standby button, your laser is going to be hot. Let me raise this just a bit. But you'll notice the white. If I, if, as soon as I shine, as soon as I shine the laser onto that. Uh, I get green. See the green reflection there? So that tells me that I am uh, producing uh, laser. All right, so the laser is functioning. That's your test strip, and that's what it's for. It shows us that we're producing. Uh, it doesn't show up real great on this uh, camera, but there you go. You can see this, the, the yellow or the green strip there. All right, so that's what we want to see. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is how you store uh, the laser cable. If you look up here, I have my laser cable going over the hook, right? So it comes off the front of the machine, goes up over the hook, and then I, I, I hang it this way uh, on the right side of the machine. I'll spin this around so you can see I hang it like this. And so on the machine like this, and I, I usually leave this latch open because you can just pull it in. It can't come out unless you lift up. It won't come out through there. So I just leave the latch open, but that's how I hang it. So before you push the standby button, you're going to want to take the laser and have it off of the hook and in a ready-to-use uh, position like this. All right, so again, back to the little uh, fancy keychain. To test that your laser is producing uh, laser therapy uh, radiation. So now we're ready to go. So I'm going to make sure you put your glasses on, your fancy glasses. All right, so you want to get your fancy glasses. They're either going to look like these. And some of them look like, uh, as I tell people, the uh, 74 Elvis model. All right, so uh, 
And by the way, you can get more of these uh, laser therapy glasses. They're about $14 a pair, and you can find them on Amazon. Uh, they'll ship right to you. So if you type in laser therapy glasses, it's good to have a couple extra pair. Uh, they get lost, they get misplaced, and it's just nice to have three or four or five pair of them. All right, so here we go. Make sure your staff wears them and anybody in the room wears them. Now, uh, as soon as, like I said, as soon as I touch the standby button, the laser will be hot. So we're gonna turn that on. You'll notice it turns to red, and red means that we're now producing, or not red, more like yellow, we're now producing laser. So your guide light uh, will come on and you'll feel just a, a warmth. And you don't wanna hold that laser in any one point uh, for any long extended period of time, but you'll start to feel a warmth under the light as you move it around and put it on the patient. And I tell the patient, you're gonna feel some warmth, but it's not gonna be hot. However, if it starts to feel hot, let me know because we don't wanna burn the patient. So moving the laser around a treatment area, uh, you, you don't want to overlap, but maybe half the coverage. So I move, you can touch the skin if you wish, with, or you can just hold it so that you're just slightly off of the skin. And that's how generally I do it, because sometimes the end of this is cold. And so it just lets them know the hairs on the body will tell them that you are moving that over the skin, and you just move it back and forth overlapping about half at a very slow speed during the treatment time. And, you know, of course, the bigger the area that you're treating, the larger the surface area that you're treating, the longer that you're going to need to treat that area. So, for example, if I was treating for carpal tunnel, uh, I would do this area, and I can feel that warmth uh, as I'm running that laser over there. So I'm going to just treat this area And just moving the light slowly. I've seen some people go, you know, do this. All right, you want to move it slow so that um, you're overlapping each area about half on each pass. Now, in this area, uh, I would only do 5,000 per side, so that's going to be a 10 minute treatment time if you do both wrists. If you're doing one wrist, it would be five minutes for that, for that particular side. And so you just run this about this speed, overlapping, and the laser will shut off uh, when you have uh, completed the time that's in there. It also shows you the countdown as far as, I'm gonna put this on standby now. So <clears throat> it shows you, we started at six, our time is now down to four, and it will also show you how many joules have been performed and the number at the bottom is the total number of minutes that the machine has been operating. If you uh, click on the joules, just touch it and hold, it will reset to zero. So if, we want to, if you want to have this time set, say, to you know, 10 for bilateral wrist, so you can have that set for 10 and see, look down here and watch when you've hit your 5,000, then you can reset and start treating the other side. So that way you can, instead of worrying so much about time, you can see how many joules of, of therapy, uh, laser energy you've applied. And um, that's about all there is to it. The other important thing is once you are finished running the laser uh, and you've got back on standby, let it run for two or three minutes before you shut the power off. So the last thing here I wanted to show you is after you've uh, finished with your treatment, before you turn the power off here at the key switch, right, let the laser run uh, for about uh, two, three minutes and let things cool off. And then once you're sure that uh, the diode has cooled, about two to three minutes, unless you've, if you've been running you know, 20 minutes of laser time, I try to do, I recommend 10%. So if you ran for 20 minutes, uh, leave at least uh, two minutes of cool time. And if you can do four or five, that's better. But at minimum, two minutes before you turn that power off. And I do turn this machine off uh, in between treatments, uh, unless they're back-to-back, -back, of course. All right, if you have any questions, if you have any other questions or anything else I can help you with, please don't hesitate to give us a call, 301-777-3710, uh, and I'll answer your questions as best I can. You can also email me at drdrd 
D-A-V-I-D-B-O-H-N, Dr. David Bond at gmail.com. And sometimes that's a better way of getting in touch with me. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.